great sinners. Amazing! What a great day. Something's in the air. Listen, do you hear all those creatures singing? Your song. Everybody's singing today. Wake up! Oh, even Martin. And her. Another great singer. A chipmunk. The creature world is full of great singers. Loons that call across the lake. There's lots to sing about. And every creature has a different reason for singing. And there are lots of great singers around. Except one's missing. Zabu. Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Zabu! Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! Feel like singing today? How about other singers? You see anybody out there? Actually, Zabu, can you sing? You know Zabu. He doesn't talk until he's had his snack. Come on, Zabu. We have apples today. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. Zabu loves apples. Everybody, it's great to see you today. That was some burp, Zabu. What'd you think of that? Yeah, I burp when I'm Vuki. Oh, brothers, look! Manga Tsika, the singing. I love the singing. So did the creature I saw. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Bird feet. Bird feet with claws. A bird body and bird wings. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. He flew up on a branch and sat there, just like me. <laughs> a bird who likes to sit on my head. Do you know who he is? All right, so what do you think, Chris? Do you think you know who he is? Well, it's got to be a bird. Definitely. Of course, because he's covered with uh, feathers. Guys? Likes to sing. Brown and white. Uh, Chris? Stripes on his feathers. Martin? Do you know what kind of bird it is? Crack Brothers. Wow. A, a kookaburra. Manga Tsika, mystery animals here. A kookaburra is a great singer. Look at that strong, powerful beak. Yeah, that's a sure sign that a kookaburra is a predatory bird. Kookaburras eat mice, insects, fish, lizards, and other birds. Uh, wait, wait a second. They don't eat lemurs, do they? <laughs> no, they just sit on lemurs' heads. Uh, <laughs> Look at the kookaburra's nails. They're long and pointed, perfect for hanging on to branches. Check out these blue feathers on his wings. Yeah, a kookaburra has spots on his wing that are the color of the sky. What manga tzika feathers? How about this? You want to see something really neat? Watch how when I move my arm, the kookaburra's body moves, but his head stays perfectly still. I can't believe my mind! Hey! I want to hear what the kookaburra sounds like, but he's not singing now. How come? I don't know. That's a good question, Zabu. I wish he would sing. Yeah, we might have to wait till sunset, though, because that's when hmm. kookaburras really get singing. 
and a lot of creatures sing at night. When it starts getting dark, that can be prime time for creature songs. Owls start hooting. <laughs> Raccoons get chortling. Oh yeah, some creatures sing all night long. And you know when they start? At sunset. Sunset? I can't wait till sunset to hear the kookaburra sing. Well, then we'll have to figure something else out, Zabu, because you have to hear the kookaburra sing. It's such an amazing song. Oh, you'll love it. Well, hey, you know, sometimes a kookaburra sings to warn other kookaburras of danger. But there's no danger here. This is Animal Junction. Oh, yeah, so that won't work. Oh. Hey, I've got another way. No, 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 this no, no, no. Tell me. Don't no, tell Zabu, me. Don't tell me. Can I can this. figure it out myself. Don't tell me. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear Martin. Oh, okay, Zabu, well, let me know if hundy, you need hundy, a little hundy, help. Hundy, hundy, huh? I can't hear Martin. I can't... Hey, where'd he go? I can figure this out. I know I can. Hmm, I can't figure this out. How to get Kookaburra to sing? Well, other creatures, what makes them sing? Sometimes creatures sing to tell others where they are. Like if a coyote is separated from his group, he'll howl. <laughs> and others will howl back to let them know they're close by. That's how coyote packs stick together in their home range. Maybe Kookaburra isn't singing because he has no place to live. Hey, maybe if we help Kookaburra build his nest, he'll get happy and sing. Might be worth a try. Let's build a nest. Okay, all right, let's build a nest. Uh, how do you build a nest? It's as easy as whistling. Oh, whistling. <laughs> Mm. If it's as easy as whistling, nest building looks pretty hard. Kookaburras peck at a termite mound until the hole is big enough to fit into. Oh, let me try. Oh, termite mounds are hard as a rock hole. That's because they're made of mud, sand, and termite spit that's been baked in the sun. What? Yeah, Zob, termite spit. The worker termites go out and collect mouthfuls of earth. Then they bring the dirt back, wet it with their spit, and pack it onto the mound. Then the spit dries, holding all the little pieces together, making a mound that's hard as a rock. As hard as a rock? Just about. Oh. Now that's hard. It's amazing that a kookaburra's beak and neck muscles are strong enough to bust a hole in a termite mound. Wow. Oh. Hey. Hey, Kookaburra. Watch it. Like, oh, well, it's okay. Nice nest hole. Kookaburra will sing now, won't he? No, I guess not. I'll have to think of something else. Sing like me, Cookie! Making a nest isn't the way to get a Kookaburra to sing. Okay, so you want to know how to get a kookaburra to sing? Huh? All you have to Monday, do is... Monday, I can't hear you. Well, you know Zabu. He always has to figure things out for himself. A snack. Kookaburra will sing after eating a snack. Well, just like me. I won't chat until I've had my snack. But once I've had leaves that are just right for lemur bellies, I can't stop talking. Uh -huh. So maybe Kookaburra will sing after he snacks. Now let's see, uh, there's camel, and there's Kookaburra, and Kookaburra meat. Whoa! Whoa! Uh-oh. Not hungry, huh? Hmm, so much for that idea. Any luck? No, he's not hungry. And he's still not singing. After a snack, I always feel like singing and burping. Hey. That reminds me of something that happened in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 trying to find someone to sing with me. Oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Google. Will you sing a song with me? Oh, but Zabu, I don't have the mood for singing. Hey, yeah. I bet I know what will make you feel like singing. Huh? Follow me. Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what it could be, though. Gobble some berries, Google. Oh. That'll put you in the mood for singing. Okay, Zabu. Well, oh, yummy, but I still don't have the mood hmm, for singing. That didn't work, so I had to think of something else. Yep. Hey, Narchi, how can I get Goobal to sing? Well, let's try playing Goobleberry Catch, Zabu. That'll get Goobal singing sure as anything. Oh, good <laughs> idea, huh? Oh, I'm, I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, Goobleberry Catch is fun and yummy, but 
but I still don't have the mood for singing. Hmm. I know. Your voice sounds dry, Goobel. You must be thirsty. Yeah. No, I am thirsty for jolly. Then come on over. Yeah, yeah, come on over. Drink, drink. <laughs> so Goobel slurped up all the jelly. <laughs> Slurp and sing, yeah. Goobleberry jelly. That's the thing. <laughs> Goobleberry jelly, slurp and sing. Goobleberry jelly, that's So that's what made Goobel sing. But what about Kookaburra? How do I get him to sing? I can't figure it out. You crats have to help me. And you have to help me too. Okay, if you want to get a Kookaburra to sing, all you have to do is sing like a Kookaburra. I knew that. All right. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, one, two, three. Hey, keep it going. Go. You were great kookaburras. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm feeling kookaburrish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel kookaburrish. How about you, kookaburrish? I feel kookaburrish. Kookaburrish. I'm a kookaburrish. bird. I'm a kookaburra. You figured it out, Zob. Mm -hmm. Way to go! Now I have to learn how to whistle. <laughs> oh. Once he gets started, the kookaburra can't stop. He can't get enough of this singing. Let's join him. Come on, sing along! would make such a splash. <laughs> That's our Zabu. What a nutty lemur. <sighs> Incoming duck. It's not a duck. It's a frog. <laughs> of course, a wood frog. Another great singer. He uses his call to attract a mate. Incoming duck. Hey, it's a lantern falcon. Wow, this is no duck. Message from Jackie. Wow, sparrows, robins, red-winged blackbirds. I love songbirds, and that's why today I made my house safer for songbirds. Windows reflect sky, which make birds think they can fly right through them. But they can't. Sometimes birds fly into windows because they can't see them and can get hurt by the glass. That's good. So the animal helpers and I put stickers of hawks on the windows so the birds know something is there. 
No songbird's gonna get hurt at my house. Yeah, there are lots of great singers in the creature world. But they don't always sound like who they are. Do you know who that is? Let's find out. Sounds like a trip. To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Righteous. Oh. They're going on a cool Come adventure on. and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. That's our cue. See you later, Zob. Bye, guys. Hear those sounds? They're coming from an amazing creature. An elk. And the sounds that an elk makes are called bugles. So let's follow those bugles to the animal who makes them. Whoa! Hey, Chris, you hear that? I heard it loud and clear, Martin. That's one creature who chatters up a storm. A, a red, red squirrel. squirrel! And there she is! The red squirrel's chattering big time. And that's why a pine martin. The pine martin is one of the red squirrel's predators. And it looks like he's on the prowl. The red squirrel is chattering to let the pine martin know he's been spotted. The squirrel's saying, I see you, and I'm fast, so don't even bother trying to catch me. When red squirrels know that a pine martin's around, it makes it harder for a pine martin to catch a squirrel. Well, it looks like the pine martin's given up. So, now it's time for the red squirrels to get back to gathering food. Yeah, pine cones. She's busy storing food, so she has plenty to eat through the winter. Hold it! We're getting distracted. I know, there are so many amazing creatures that make incredible sounds. But we have to stay focused if we're ever going to catch up to a bugling elk. I have an idea. I wonder what he has in mind. Good idea, bro! Woohoo! All right, we're kayaking downriver! Okay, now I've got an idea. How about this? Let's see if by bugling like an elk, we can call an elk in. Hit it, Martin. All right, here goes. That was the worst elk bugle I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, he doesn't think so. He must have done something right. <laughs> Sometimes when a male elk hears another elk bugling, he comes to check it out. Males bugle during the rut or mating season, and once in a while, it can lead to an amazing antler fight. Yeah, bull elk test each other by pushing each other with their antlers. Wow. <coughs> he heard you, Martin. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa, wait, what? I think that big elk is checking out your elk bugle. I know, but I don't have any antlers to fight with. I got an idea. Let's call in another amazing creature. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> yeah, over here. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Hey, hurry! <laughs> Good job. All right, just in time. Let's ride. Back to Animal Junction and Zaboomafu. Always give animals with big antlers their space! Let's do the elk people for Zabu. Hey, that's no elk. Do you know who it is? Hey, Zabu, what are you up to? I'm not up to, I'm up on. Up on a camel. How'd you get up there? On a vine. You know me. I'm a swinging lemur. Yeah, hey, look at this long neck. I bet you a really cool song comes out of this camel. 
<laughs> you got you have camel fuzz on your face. Well, I sort of landed head first. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable though, isn't it up there? Sure it's is. Cushy. But I'm gonna go down. Ready? All right. Uh, yeah. oh, um, huh. uh, Are you stuck? You wanna help yeah. me get you out of there? Okay, there you yeah. go. Well, Sabu. No, no. Uh, I meant to do that. <laughs> Where'd he go? Sabu. Hey, Zob! What are you doing? I'm gonna get back on that camel. Here I go! <laughs> Zob, look out for his head! Whoa! Chris Martin! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Hey, whoa! Whoa! Watch out, guys! Oh, Chris Martin! Whoa! 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 I smell mud! Uh oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I did. Let's get you cleaned up. Towel? He goes out and use a towel. I'm okay. I'm okay. Say, uh, do camels burp? I don't know. Well, maybe they need to eat first. Like me. <laughs> the snack machine will have something. Here you go. Thanks, Zav. Welcome. I wonder if I can hear the sounds of the camel swallowing. You can listen. definitely hear the sound of a camel chewing. Listen to that. And look how he chews, too. His mouth goes from side to side. Chris? Do you hear it? I hear food coming down. <gasps> And he makes a lot of grumbly, groany sounds. <laughs> Woo! He does perp after all. What a song! <laughs> I like to sing when I work with clay. Wiggy Waxwing. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into Wiggy Waxwing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you know something's wrong when Wiggy is running back and forth. What am I going to do? 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 What's the matter, Wiggy? I'm wigging out. I can't remember my Wiggy Waxwing song. I can't remember any song. Oh, well, that's too bad, Wiggy. Everybody should have a song to sing. Google has his Googleberry song. Googleberries, Googleberries, they fill my Googleberry. Googleberries, Googleberries. And Narchi? <laughs> Narchi's got his trumpet sound. <laughs> then I thought of something. What? Wiggy, huh? why don't you. Oh. Raps, raps, raps. <laughs> First, she sang like a rooster. <laughs> then, she sang like a coyote. <laughs> then, like an elk. And then she did the song of the kookaburra, and that made her really happy. <laughs> the end. I love how different creatures make different sounds for different reasons. My favorite part was riding the camel. How'd you get up there? On a vine. You know me. I'm a swinging lemur. <laughs> I liked when we all sang with the kookaburra. <laughs> Creature songs are great. Hey guys, I know another creature song. Let's hear it. Oh. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly. One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Yeah! yeah. Hi, Crad Brothers! See you later, Zabu! <laughs> Keep on singing! <laughs> and swinging. Let's head to Florida. Yeah, and hear the dolphins singing. We'll, we'll see, see you, you later. later. Hey, how do you want to get there? Well, let's go by horse. Sea kayak. Mountain bike. Boat. Bus. Jeep. Yeah. I got the key.
My name is Daniel, and my dog's name is George, and I love him very much. Playtime. Six, 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 we can't let it touch the ground! <laughs> we make it to 100 as long as we stay focused. Yeah, we just can't get distracted. <laughs> Lion, Lion Cubs! Cubs. What time is it when you put two lion cubs, a soccer ball, and two crab brothers together? Playtime! <laughs> Ooh, good move! Hey, you're supposed to go after the ball, not the person. Lion cubs play fight to practice their hunting skills because when they get older, they're going to have to hunt to survive. They're play fighting with Chris, and that's one of those things you only do in Animal Junction. There go the lion cubs. And here comes Sabu. <laughs> what are you doing here before we even called you? <laughs> <laughs> you got my nose. Sabu, let go! <laughs> what a silly leader. Zabu, you are playful today. <laughs> it's Zabu playtime. I have a feeling today is going to be pretty crazy. So let's give Zabu garbanzo beans. Hey, Zabu. Garbanzo beans. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, you want? You can't have them all. Just take one, just take one. There you go. <laughs> one garbanzo bean's a mouthful for a lemur. Excuse me. Sip of a food! <laughs> Whoa, Zabu, you are full of garbanzo beans today. I feel like I could leap all day long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi there, do you want to play? Come on, follow me. Hey, brothers, what do you get when you fill a lemur full of garbanzo beans? I don't know, Zab, what? A lemur who's ready to play. <gasps> Just like the creatures I saw on my way. Who? Who? That's what I was wondering. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? You couldn't miss those ears. Big, huge ears on a little creature who gets tired easily. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Pogatska, Pogatska, animal. This baby creature wanted to play with my tail. <laughs> hey, Playful creatures. Do you know who they are? Okay, this is a tough one. Yeah, but I know we can get it. It's on the tip of my tongue. I know, I know, I know. Let's start from the top. Okay, so these little wildcats. Martin! Big ears. Chris! They're all spotty. Oh. They must be. Brothers! Several kittens! Oh, wow. Oh, Mango Chica, the mystery animals are here. Oh, oh. Servals are sometimes called giraffe cats because of their long necks and long legs. They're the big-eared, high-jumping, long-legged wildcats of the grassy parts of Africa. And servals are great pouncers and jumpers. <laughs> Manga Tsika. These serval kittens are great players. I wonder what they'll do with my tail. <laughs> do you know what time it is when you put two serval kittens and a lemur tail together? Playtime! <laughs> I have so much energy to play, I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Here it goes. This I gotta see. <laughs> yeah, you know this'll be good. <laughs> come on, serval brothers. See if you can get my tail. <laughs> come on, come on. These servals are very young. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can't see too well yet. <laughs> and they're still a little clumsy. Yeah, that's it with your paw. Get it, get it, get it. 
That's why they play. To practice running, jumping, pouncing, and swatting. Things they'll need to know when they grow up. I don't think they can catch my tail. They're just little creatures learning to play. Whoa! Uh oh, maybe I was wrong. Hey, careful! Whoa! <laughs> they got you, Zav! Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey, hey, get off of my head! They got me! <sighs> so, Zabu, do you still have a lot of energy to play with the serval kittens? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah! Hey, Hooba Hooba, hey! Serval kittens can't wear this little lemur out! I want to play all day! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play all day! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was fun! Hey, look at that. Oh, I guess they're all played out. Looks like you tired the serval kittens out. Yeah. There's gotta be more creatures who wanna play because I'm not tired at all! <laughs> play, big leaders! <laughs> I've never seen Zombie so playful! <laughs> <laughs> I hear you! He's all over the place! <laughs> So, Zabu, you're still not even a little pooped. No, are you? No way. We're creature adventurers. Hmm. Are you sure you're not a little tired? <laughs> no! Bring on some more playful creatures. I'm ready and raring to go. Just like I always am. In Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. All of a sudden, I saw a snow lemur, <laughs> sense it, <laughs> and slimantha. <laughs> they were racing. <laughs> I want to play too, I said. No, oh, come on then, Zabu. We're racing till we can't race anymore. <laughs> well, it didn't take long for them to get tired out, but I still wanted to play. Then Bugly buzzed over. Hang on, Zabubadoo. You're going for a ride on a bucking buggo. And then we flew up into the sky and buzzed around and around Zabubafuasaurus until Bugly said, Zabu, I'm getting all buzzed out. No more flapping. It's time for napping. I'll still play with you, Zabu. Hop on. Yeah. Yay! So I slid down her back. <laughs> Again, Zabubafuasaurus. Okay. I slid oh. down her back again and again hey. until she oh. got tired too. <sighs> Last one. But I still wanted to play! Woohoo! I had a lot of play left in me. I wanted more and more and more! <laughs> and then I played with the. Uh, oh, yeah, and? Uh, I can't remember. Sometimes my mind doesn't think right. All right, how about this one, Zob? What time is it when you put ducklings? Ducklings! And water! Water! Together! It's playtime! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> ducklings are full of energy, and they love to play. Ooh, I want to play with ducklings. Then do like the ducklings do, and hop right in. I can't believe my mind. They're all jumping in. Well, all the ducklings are in the water. I want to play with ducklings. Well, then let's get wet. Are you sure we want to get wet? Yeah. OK, then. Everybody in the pool. Hey, who? Hubba, hubba. <laughs> Baby ducks love swimming. Their webbed feet paddle around in the water. I don't have webbed feet because I'm a hopping, jumping land creature. Whoa, whoa. I'm okay, I'm okay. I can lemur paddle. The more I practice my lemur paddle, the better at swimming I get. Lemur paddle, lemur paddle. I love lemur paddling. You're doing great, Zob. Soon you'll be as good as the ducklings. Did you know that ducklings can swim almost right after they hatch? Those webbed feet were made for paddling. I want to look at their feet. Whoa! <gasps> ducks are practicing to splash. Okay, ducks, that's enough splashing. <laughs> Ducklings are sticking their faces in the water. <gasps> that's practice for eating underwater plants. And it's fun, too. Found a leaf underwater. <laughs> Chris found one too. And so did Martin. 
I don't think Zabu's slowing down. I think no. he's speeding up. No. I love swimming like a duckling. <laughs> You've outplayed the duck, Sob, and now it's dry off time. Dry off time? Count me in. Whoa! -hoo! See how the ducklings shake the water off? Oh yeah! Shake the dry, shake the dry, shake the dry, shake the dry. Zabu has the right idea because every time is playtime if you want to have fun. He goes out and use a towel. Did the ducklings go? Yeah, you tired them out. Oh. Bye, ducklings. Huh. <laughs> well, Zabu's tiring everybody out. I mean everybody. Can you think of any creature who can tire Zabu out? No way, nobody can tire me out. I'm a non-stop action-adventure play creature. <laughs> well, remember when Zabu called out the window, hey, everyone, anybody want to play? Oh, yeah. Does anybody want to play? Put it this way. What time is it when you have Chris, me, you, Zaboomafu, and all sorts of playful creatures? Like wolf pups? Kawadis? Black jaguar kittens? Snow monkeys and a capuchin? It's playtime! I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel playfulish. How about you? Puppyish. I feel puppyish. I'm a rolly, rolly puppy, just wrestling on the ground. Monkeyish. I feel monkeyish. I'm a quick-handed monkey, just flinging things around. Quaddyish. I feel quaddyish. I'm a nosy little climber. I'm a kawaii, kittenish. I feel kittenish. I'm a paw swatting kitten, just playing with some yarn. Playfulish. So different animals all play in different ways, and they each play in a way that gets them ready to live life free and in the wild. All right, Zabu, sir, are you played out yet? You a little tired? Yeah, I, I think I'll have a, a little. Nah. He's finally played out. <laughs> gotcha! I'm not tired. <laughs> Bring on some more playful creatures. I got lots of playtime left me. Come on, let's play. Hey, where are you going? Come on, let's play. Incoming duck! <laughs> you didn't duck fast enough, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a duck, he's Moonface. The barn owl. Hey, Moonface, do you want to play? I'm not sure if owls play, Zob. Huh? You know, lots of animals don't play. That's right, Chris. Most lizards don't play. Not like chicks play, anyway. But somebody who's always ready to play is Jackie and the Animal Helpers. Hey, guys. Guess what the best thing is ever? Playing with your dog. You may not know it, but animals need to play a lot. So if you want to make your pet happy, then play with them, because it's fun, and you'll be happy too. Blue, blue. <sighs> I'd like to play with young humans sometime. <sighs> OK, that was great, but too much sitting around. Back to playing! <laughs> So, Zabu, you're still not tired out? No way. <laughs> I bet somewhere out there there's a creature who can tire you out. No way. Let's <laughs> go find out. Sounds like a trip. <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet. Uh -oh. to grab their you know what always happens when we open the closet. Well, we got to do what we got to do. Hey, Martin. We don't even need anything from the closet, do we? Not this time, you're right! Run! They're going on a cool adventure <laughs> and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu! Bye, Zab! Bye, guys! <laughs> okay, if we're going to find a playing creature who can tire Zabu out, we better split up. I'll search the forest. And I'll roam the savannah, okay? Split! <laughs> I 
hyenas. And look at that little cub go. He is fast. Oh, there he goes. Maybe he's tired out. Hmm. Nope, he's back for more. Now that's a little player. This might be the creature who can outplay Zabu. Okay, I'm gonna try running around like a hyena and see if that might tire Zabu out. Now hyenas are fast. Yeah, they cut and weave on the grasslands. All right, all right, whoo. And they run 35 miles an hour. Ooh. Yeah, this is tiring, all right. Yeah, that might do the trick. Aha, chimpanzees. Look at them go and look at them play. Whoa hanging on with one hand and wrestling with the other. That takes incredible arm strength. Hey, I gotta give this a try. <laughs> yeah. This is great, arm over arm. <laughs> Woo, chimp style tree climbing can really tire you out. <laughs> yup, chimpanzees. Those are creatures who might be able to tire Zabu out. Hey, Martin! Yeah? I found some creatures who can definitely tire Zabu out. Who? Baby chimpanzees. They were climbing around the trees and playing while they were climbing. Yeah? I found a hyena pup who was racing all around. None of the rest of the hyena clan could keep up with him. Let's get Zabu. A lot of playful creatures out there. Yeah, but I don't know if any of them can keep up with Zabu. Except maybe. Of course! That's who might be able to play Zabu out. Human kids! Nobody can play like you can, right? Hey, Martin, Chris, what time is it when you fill Animal Junction with little creatures who look like you? Playtime! Play yeah! <laughs> it's playtime! Everybody play! Yeah! Okay, Asia, can you just scratch my shoulder? Just on my back here. Oh, ha, oh, oh, that feels good. Oh. No, stop. Oh. I'll do it some more. Oh, oh that's so good. Oh, Asia, thanks. They're all playing. I love it. Woo. <laughs> What do you have? You have some tools? Hmm. All right, let's fix the food machine. <laughs> I'm right here. Right here? Okay. How's that? Yeah. Good, okay. Where do you want to use the screwdriver? Up here? Yeah. Fix Zabu's button? Yeah. Great. Hey, Zabu. Yeah, that's Zabu. <laughs> yeah, I'm there and I'm up here. Way to go, Cole. Yeah. Hey, 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 Chris and Cole fix the machine. Who wants a snack? <laughs> All right, which button do you think we should press, you guys? Um, 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 Whoops. This. That one? Yeah. You want spaghetti? Spaghetti? Oh, no. uh, that's what Martin needs. <laughs> Wait a second. What about that one with all the cookies? The cookies. Press it. Hey, cookies! Hey, Who wants a cookie? Cole's coming up with a cookie. Good work, Cole. Let's have him try the cookie. Uh, uh. Not bad. Cole, I, I got a little crumb on my face. Could you wipe it off? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Zabu Land creatures? Okay, this is the secret to making Zabu Land characters. Play with clay. Yeah, Google. <laughs> play with clay, 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 play with clay. Sense it. Oops. I didn't know that. 
Huh? I'm, I'm making a character. I'm making a big... What kind like, of character? Oh, like a, like a big, huge dinosaur type character. G guess what I'm gonna call her? I'm gonna call her Sabuma Fuasaurus. That's very nice. Oh, well, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Do you all wanna hear a story? Yeah, Sabu. Great, <laughs> because this story, this story happened in a very special place. Well, a special place where all of these creatures we made live. Uh-huh. It all happened in Sabu Land. Yeah. I was leaping up and down. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap. I'd been playing all morning, and no one could tire me out. And then Google said, well, Zabu, Zabu, I'll play with you. Yeah. He jumped a few times, but then he lay down for a nap. <laughs> So I leaped around looking for somebody else to play with. Oh, come play with me, Zabu! Said baby Zabumafuasaurus. Okay! Uh, uh, catch my tail, Zabu. <laughs> so I jumped on his tail and we started spinning around and around. We spun so fast that I flew off his tail and landed right beside Sensei. Oh, hi, Zabu! Oh, I can't play anymore. I'm too tired. Uh. Hi, Sensei. Do you want to play with me? <laughs> sure, Zabu. And my little sisters always want to play too. <laughs> oh, here they come. <laughs> so Sensei, Sensei's little sisters and I played and played and played. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can tire me out. I can play all day. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that was very nice. Well, thanks, thanks. <laughs> hey, but it's still playtime. Let's keep playing. <laughs> Okay, who wants to play in the water? Go ahead! I can't believe you're actually gonna get wet! Go ahead! Go ahead! Woo! You guys are having fun! Is the water good? They're splashing me! I can't believe my mind. These human creatures are non-stop players. Go ahead and play. <laughs> it's playtime, playtime. <laughs> hey, Zabu, how are you feeling? You tired? I'm good, I'm good, I love it. We're playing, and they're tickling me, and everybody's climbing and running. <laughs> are you tickling me? No, no, okay, no more tickling. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, no more tickling. Zabu, how are you holding up? I'm okay, but I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> yeah, good one. How are you holding up, Zabu? Well, to tell you the truth, Chris, I don't know how much longer I can last. These creatures know how to play. I know, hang in there, Zab. Oh, I'm okay. Wow, I've never met such superstar play creatures before. I better sing quick before I run out of breath. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. So, Zob, what time is it when a lemur plays with all kinds of little creatures? Oh. Including human kids all day long. I think it, I think it's oh, nap time. <sighs> well, even the great playmasters of Boomafu met his match today. Yeah, you're some great players. He's all played out. So, we'll see you next time. Keep on playing. Bye. Run, run, run. Ah, so eatable. <laughs>
My name is Dylan and my dog's name is Dallas. Slow. Go, 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 I'm gaming on you. I can win this. No way. <laughs> oh, yes. I won. Oh. I had to make a quick turn to avoid that guy. Hey, an apple snail. Some things are more important than winning a race. Yeah, you said it, bro. And now, let's call Zabu. I'll call him fast. And I'll call him slow. You can call him fast or slow. And does he leap fast? Yeah, never slow. Unless we see it again in slow motion. Amazing. Zabu, how you doing? What an incredible leaping lever. Zabu, you're pretty speedy today. Zabu can jump really fast. Zabu? Do you think anything will slow Zabu down today? <laughs> I know one thing that'll slow Zabu down. A snack! So what do you think Zabu wants to eat today? How about apples? Ooh, snack machine's really slow this time. All right. Zabu, I got an apple for you. Zabu loves apples. There you go. <laughs> no, not the whole thing. That's too much. Here, I got a piece for you. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Oh, you want that big piece? <laughs> Give me some of the pretty fast, because I'm a leaping lemur. But the animal I saw in the forest, he was the fastest. Who was it, Zob? I don't know. But as soon as I saw him, my mind said, who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had four long legs with paws on the end. And when I saw him, he was running. He was running fast. <laughs> Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh God's God. Oh God's God. Animal. He had a black nose and triangle ears. <laughs> a good looking wildcat. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? Body-bodied, long-legged speedster. Do you know who he is? Okay, let's see. He runs really fast. Has big eyes. Yeah, yeah. Spots all over his body. <laughs> Do you know who he is? I think I know. He must be a cheetah. Oh, Longa Chica, the mystery animal's here. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. There he is. And here I come. Wow! A cheetah. Wow. I can't believe my mind. I can't believe his face. It's incredible. Listen, he's purring. That means he's happy and friendly. His tail, it never stops moving. <laughs> that tickles. Cheetahs have thin bodies and long legs. They're the lightest and leanest of all the big cats. And being light and lean helps them run fast. He's almost a blur. But if you slow him down, you can see his amazing body in action. Watch. Oh, Zika. Hey, Chris, why do cheetahs have to be so fast? He has to catch his food. And for that, a cheetah has to be fast. <laughs> I can't believe my mind the way you zip all over the place. Zip, zip, zip. I'm gonna call you Zipper. Yeah, Zipper. <laughs> Cause you zip around really fast. Great name, Zob. Hey, remember the time we were in Africa and we saw the cheetah chasing down their prey? Yeah, that was incredible. 
the cheetah spotted a whole herd of Thompson's gazelles. Now, cheetah eat Thompson's gazelles, but gazelles are pretty fast creatures, even for a cheetah to catch. So, the cheetah stalked up towards the gazelles, trying to get as close as he could. The gazelles didn't see him? Well, eventually they did, Sabu, and that's when the cheetah sprung into action. He moved in on the gazelles, then the herd took off, and the chase was on! What happened? Well, Zob, the gazelles got away, safe and sound. Because cheetahs can run fast, but they can't run fast for long. Oh, look! He likes you, Chris. <laughs> That's right, Zob. <laughs> Cheek rubbing is a way that cheetahs tell other cheetahs in the coalition that they like each other. Coalition? Coalition? What's that? A coalition is a group of cheetahs. Sometimes cheetahs live alone, and sometimes they live in groups. Brothers, I want to be a cheetah. I want to be part of a cheetah coalition. Well, all right, if you want to be part of a cheetah coalition, you have to run like a cheetah. Hmm. Do you want to run like a cheetah? Well, let's run like cheetahs. Right. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a second. Lemurs can't run. Well, I could, I could leap really fast. Yeah, I'll be a leaping lemur cheetah. <laughs> Come on, run like a cheetah. You can do it. Zipper, run with us! Woo <laughs> Martin's a funny looking cheetah. Wow! Z Zipper, you better wow. run soon, because I'm almost all leaped out. <laughs> that cheetah doesn't feel like running. <laughs> Maybe he was running before he came here, and now he's tired. Huh. Cheetahs can run fast, but they can't run fast for very long. Yeah. I'm running, but I'm definitely not the fastest cheat in the coalition. Well, he is, but he's resting. What? Uh-oh, I smell mud. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> that's too bad. Oh. Great cheat action, Martin. Yeah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a towel, bro. <laughs> Woo, I am pooped, just like the cheetah. Your turn, Chris! All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run like a cheetah. See ya! Well, where's Chris going? Over here! Out here! Calling all cheetahs! A cheetah can run faster than any other creature, 70 miles per hour. That's faster than a car drives on a highway. I can only run this fast, but a cheetah can run this fast. Gotta beat this car! Cheetah speed! Yeah! Woohoo! Sika, that is fast. And that's slow. Yeah, a snail really is slow. 0 0.007 miles per hour. It could take them all morning to get from here to there. Huh. Go, snail, go! I can't believe my mind. That's really slow. Martin, look, a turtle. Compared to a snail, a turtle moves super fast. He's gonna beat him to the banana. Those turtle shells are good for protection, but they're hard to see through. Is he eating the banana? He's eating the peel. Mm -hmm. Maybe after he's finished with the peel, he'll give me the center part. <laughs> well, how about it, turtle? Martin, isn't it time for Chris to come back? It should be, Zob. <sighs> A bird, Martin, do you hear it? It sounds like a bird, but it's not a bird making that sound. Do you know who it is? Ah, don't look at me! It's not me! Ah. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. It's the cheetah! The cheetah? Yeah. Cheetahs chirp to call each other. I think cheetah's calling Chris. Well, let's help him. Are you ready to chirp like a cheetah? I can chirp like a cheetah. All right, let's go. Great job. You have got it down, Zob. Well, thanks. You're right. That sound. The cheetahs are calling. I better get back to Animal Junction. 
Hmm. Maybe Chris can't hear us. Maybe you're right. Hey, let's cheat a chirp louder. You called? <laughs> Chris? Chris? Are you there? Yeah, uh, Zob, I heard your cheetah call. Oh, good. It's worked. <laughs> sure did, Zob. A cheetah can hear another cheetah from really far away. Like those cheetah cubs we saw in Africa. Yeah. The cheetahs were hanging out together, playing and practicing their hunting skills. Then we heard the cub's mom cheetah chirp them. <coughs> Chirping is her way of saying, come here and make it snappy. <coughs> as soon as the cubs heard the chirping, they came running and practiced their hunting skills under mom. Those speedy little cubs are going to grow up to be super fast hunters. You have to be super fast to catch a gazelle. Oh, so a cheetah has to move fast so he can catch his food and keep it. But uh, why does a snail move so slowly? A snail's food doesn't run away, Zabu. And he has a hard shell to protect himself from danger. So a snail doesn't have to move fast. Hmm. He's almost at the banana. Go, snail, go! Hey, Zipper's getting up. Maybe he wants to run now. No, I think he just wants a drink of water. Oh, guys, I get it. I know the answer. Animal Junction's pretty big for a little lemur like me, but for the cheetah, it's too crowded. Ha <laughs> ha! Sabu, that's it. That's the reason he hasn't been running. Of course. Cheetahs need a lot of space to run so they can run far and fast. There just isn't enough room here in Animal Junction. Let's head outside. Let's take a lap around Animal Junction, running like a cheetah. <laughs> Chris and Martin are gonna run with the cheetah! <laughs> Zipper's on the move. Yeah. I'm right behind you, Zipper! Woohoo! Yeah! Zipper's so fast, he's leaving us in the dust! Yeah, and he's already run in the final turn! Zipper won. There they are, Zipper. Hey, brothers. Zipper's been waiting for you to catch up. Whew. Now I know what it feels like to be a cheetah after a run. Whoops. This could mean trouble. Uh-oh. Spots. We're cheetahs. <laughs> I like your spotted face, Zipper. I'm making a cheetah face. You're a leaping lemur cheetah, Zabu. I'm in the cheetah coalition. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel cheetahish. How about you? Cheetahish. Racing all around! Cheetah-ish! Guys, the snail! He made it to the banana. The snail cut up with the banana? I knew he'd do it. I love how the snail moves slow. And I love how the cheetah moves fast. Everyone moves differently like in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap. leap. Leap, 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 when I left him to sense it. <laughs> I sense it. Oh, hi, Zabu. We all want to run together, but we all run in different ways. I'm really fast. Yeah, and I run all shiny. Oh, and uh, pretty slow and waddly. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Well, that's good. It's okay to move different. I leap around. Oh, Zabu's right. 
We can still all run together, even though we're different. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yes, Yay. that's a great idea. Okay, let's go. Let's run over to where Google is. Snow lemur waddled slowly. Sense it was really fast, running on his fingers. And Slimantha slid along in her own special way. And of course, I leapt like a lemur all the way to Google. Oh, hi. Oh, let's make funny faces. And that's what we did for the rest of the day. We made funny faces in our own different ways and had a lot of fun. Mm. <laughs> the end. What did you think of my story, Zipper? I, I, I got licked by a cheetah. You know what? I think Zipper is also saying goodbye. Bye, Zipper. Thanks for letting us join your cheetah coalition. Hey, brothers, Zipper's with his cheetah coalition again. What a fast creature, huh? Incoming! Duck! Wow, if he's a duck, he's the biggest duck I've ever seen. <laughs> he's not a duck, Zabu. He's a golden eagle. Possibly the fastest bird in the world. Yeah, golden eagles can fly as fast as 200 miles per hour. 200 miles per hour? How fast is that? That's fast. As fast as a race car. A race car? Hey. Wow. Message from Jackie. What is a race car? Hi, I'm planting a huge garden for the hummingbirds around my house. There. Hummingbirds drink the sweet nectar that comes out of flowers. Hummingbirds like these flowers best. That's why I'm planting lots of them. Because the more hummingbirds around, the better. And the thing I like best about hummingbirds is how fast they can flap their wings. They can flap their wings about 55 times a second. Can you imagine flapping your arms that fast? I sure can't. Anyway, bye guys. I have some hummingbirds to watch. I love hearing about fast creatures, but how about the slow ones? Hey guys, go on a trip to find slow creatures. Oh yeah. You got it, Tom. To, to the, the closet. closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to we'll the closet. We'll need our headlamps for this trip. Uh oh, the headlamps are in the closet. Well, it's a good thing I cleaned it out this morning. You cleaned up the closet? Great! I'll get the headlamps. <laughs> gotcha! I should have known. I found the headlamps. Let's go. They're going on a cool adventure, <laughs> and they don't See know what's in store. Let's check out the slow loris. Righteous. And Come they're on. headed out the door. Hey, it's getting dark. So that means it's time for the slow loris to come out. Headlights on. Come on. Let's head for those thick trees, bro. You're on. Looks like a good place for a loris. Hey, Chris, do you feel like we're being watched? Yeah, I do. Do you feel like we're being watched? <gasps> there! A slow loris. A slow loris is a primate, like monkeys and humans. And those hands and feet are super strong for climbing tree branches. A slow loris takes only eight steps a minute. So he doesn't get anywhere very fast. Now you know why he's called a slow loris. Lorises are amazing. Look, they're slim. Slim? Who's slim? Him. This is the slender loris. I like to call him slim. The slender loris is the skinny cousin of the slow loris. Look at those grabby little hands and feet. Hey, Martin, I think he spotted that cricket. He's going after it. Amazing. Let's see that again. But this time, not in slow motion. He's already slow. What a grab! 
Now he's back on the prowl for another bug to eat. A slow, steady hunter. I love slender lorises. They're the greatest. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's crawl like the slow loris. Yes. So how does he do it? Okay, I'll hang upside down from this branch. Looking good, Chris. It's hard work being a slow loris. Hey, <laughs> Whoa, we better get going. It's a long way back to Animal Junction. See you later, Loris. So long, Slim. Let's go. Do you hear anything? No, nothing. That's weird. I wonder what Sabu's up to. This is strange. Where is he? Sabu? Where's Sabu? Here I am. Hey! <laughs> and you're with a chameleon. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at her. She's incredible. Yeah, she's from Madagascar, where I'm from. And you know what? What's up? Chameleons move slow because they have to hide from animals that want to eat them. A chameleon does a slow, herky-jerky kind of walk that makes her look just like a leaf blowing in the wind. She just blends right in. Mm. She's green like me. Green is great. Yes, yes, yes. Brothers, there's one part of the chameleon that moves fast, not slow. What's up? Her eyes. That's right, Sob. A chameleon can move her eyeballs in two different directions at the same time. Try it. It's something that's really fun to be able to do. And another part of the chameleon moves really fast. Her tongue. A chameleon can snap her tongue out and back in less than a second. Manga Zika! I gotta see that in slow, uh, slow motion. Yeah! Wow! The chameleon is slow and fast. She walks slow and her tongue is fast. Yeah, Zob. Some creatures are fast, some creatures are slow, and some creatures are slow and fast. Fast and slow. That reminds me of something that happened in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I heard my two friends, Goobal and Noggin Drill. So I hopped over to say hello. Hello, Goobal. Oh, hi, Zabu. Hello. Your hand. Oh. Hello, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zabu. What are you doing? Oh, Zabu, we have a problem. A big one, yeah. What's the problem? Uh, me and Goobal uh, want to dance, but I want to dance fast like this. <laughs> and I want to dance slow like this. Oh, 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 oh. That's the problem. I want to dance fast, but Goobal wants to dance slow. We have a real dancing problem. That ain't the half of it. I said, don't worry. Oh. It's not a problem. It's not? Google, you can dance slow the way you like oh. to dance. Oh, good. And Noggin Drill, you can dance fast the way you like to dance. Oh. Oh, what about you, Zabu? Yeah, what about you? Hmm. Well, I'll dance half fast and half slow. Everybody thought that was great. It didn't matter how we danced, as long as we were dancing together. So we danced all day long. The end. <laughs> You're a good dancer, Zabu. Yeah, you really have the moves. Well, so did all the animals we met today. That cheetah was so fast, I couldn't believe my mind. Yeah, and that slow Loris was really smooth. <laughs> I liked the chameleons with that super fast tongue. Oh, I love meeting different animals and moving like they do. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna try and make it home really fast today. All right, Zabu, we're gonna have to stretch out your muscles if you're gonna do that. Oh yeah, I better stretch out my muscles. How do I stretch out my muscles? I'll show you. Hmm? Give me your arm, all right? Now, oh, yeah, that feels nice. That. Oh, yeah. oh uh, Martin, I think you... Martin, 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 Martin. Oh, I'm okay, I'm stretched out now. Looking good, Zab. Ready to leap. <laughs> Bye, Zabu. See you later, buddy. Happy jumping. What now, Chris? Hey, 
I bet there are some giants in the mountains that we can see before sundown. Let's get going, and we'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Um, my name is Darcy, and this is my dog, Rufus. <laughs> Horses. Oh, this ain't as heavy. I'd help you, bro, but this bag of oats is pretty weighty, too. We made it. How you doing? Welcome to Animal Junction. Hey, a carrot. This will be a good snack for later. Yeah. Okay, just got to get these oats over to the snack machine. Huh? Chris, there's a hole in the bag of oats. I thought it was getting lighter. Whoa! Where did this come from? Oh, <laughs> that's what I was wondering. This tree must have fallen down in the night. It's huge. Let's call Zabu. Yeah, he'd love to see this because lemurs love trees. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Hey! Hey, Zabu, how you doing? <laughs> so, Zabu, what do you think about that tree that fell into Animal Junction? Zabu? You know Zabu. He never talks until he's finished his snack. I'll be right back. Papaya! There you go. Oh, yeah. Zabu loves this orange fruit. He doesn't really like these little bally things inside, which are seeds, but he loves to munch it. Give me some of the food! <laughs> I'm Vuki. Hi! Zabu, how'd you like the papaya? <laughs> Molly seeds are hard, but yummy fruit is soft. Well, you sure love eating it. I do, I do, too. <laughs> yeah, Zabu just plain loves eating. I do love eating. I do, too. <gasps> the creature I saw in the forest loves eating, too. He wasn't so sure on his legs, but he sure was eating. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? She had four long, knobby legs. And besides eating, she was running around and playing when I saw her. Her neck was long, and she had a big snout. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. She had a swishy tail and hair down her neck. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A knobby need player who likes to say, Do you know who she is? Let's see. Long legs and knobby knees. She went clip clop clip clop when she walked. Mm. A foal. A foal? Yeah, a foal. Mm. A baby horse, of course. Hi. She must have followed the trail of oats into Animal Junction. Nambihika, mystery animal here. So this is a baby horse? Wow, she ever fuzzy. Yeah, you're right, Zab. Look at her mane. It's so soft and fuzzy. And so is her tail. Fuzzy tail. <laughs> Look at this. Can I call you Fuzz? Because you're all fuzzy. Fuzz is a great name. Fuzz. Fuzz. Yeah, I like that name. <laughs> wow. It sure is big. This has got to be a first. A lemur riding a horse. <laughs> you look good, Zav. Thanks. <laughs> oh, look! I'm riding a Zabumafusaurus! <laughs> hey, do you want something to eat? Remember that carrot I found before? Now, I know I have that somewhere. Let's see. Where did I put it? Okay, I found it over by the jungle path, and then I walked in there. Where did I put it? Fuzz found the carrot! Hey! You found it! Are you hungry? No. She's not hungry. Well, maybe she wants to play. Maybe that's it, Zob. 
Foals are just like so many other baby animals. They love to play, and playing actually helps their muscles become big and strong. Of course, foals love to play, and when foals play, they love to run around. Hmm? Run around? How do we run around with this huge tree right in the middle of Animal Junction? We can hop. It's easy. Hop. <laughs> Come on, Fuzz. Hop. Hop. We can hop and hop around anything. Woohoo! That leaping lemur. That's easy for you, Zob. And easy for us. And a full-grown horse could jump over this tree, but it's just too big for a young foal. But if she's so young, where's her mommy? Well, foals are never far away from their mom. Yeah, minutes after a foal is born, he stands up. And he always sticks close to his mom so she can protect him and teach him things. Oh, so Fuzz's mom must be close by. All right, we have to figure this out. Hmm? How do we get this foal's mom into Animal Junction? And get this huge tree out. Hmm. Oh, good Sika, I know, I know, yeah! <laughs> Lay it on the sob. First, you and Chris move this log out of Animal Junction, and then you go find your mom. All right, let's start with the log. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Easier said than done. Well, why? There's only one little problem with your idea, Zob. We just don't have the muscles it takes to get this huge tree moving. Well, I'll help. All right. Yeah, try again. OK. okay. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Use those lemur muscles, up. Push, Zabu, push. <laughs> Hold everything. I just had an idea. Uh, where's your idea? I, uh... <laughs> it's inside my head, Zabu. Huh? I think I figured out how to get the mother horse in and this tree out. What are you thinking what I'm thinking? We'll be right back. <laughs> so, uh, you want to hear a story till your mom comes? <clears throat> I was leap, leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. <laughs> Leap, 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 leap. When I heard somebody say... Hey, Zabu Dabba Dabba Doo. Hey, who said that? Dooba Dee, it's me. Who's me? It's me, Zobsta. Oh, uh -huh. hi, Bugly. Zabu, my leaping little leaper. Wanna go for a run? <laughs> well, I guess so. Whoa. Hang on. Whoa, you run fast. <laughs> Why, thank you, Zabubidi D. <laughs> I run fast because I have grippy feet and long legs. That gets me running like the wind. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> can you go any faster? Does a bug have a lot of legs? Sure, I can. Hang on to me, Zabubidi D. <laughs> we ran faster and faster and faster yeah. until <laughs> we were flying. We were flying high! And that's my story about a lemur riding a bug. <laughs> like that one, Fuzz? Well, that was a first, too. <laughs> hey, look. No, not over here, over there. Look who we found! <laughs> this is a Belgian, and she's the foal's mom. Oh. Wow, that's the biggest idea I ever saw. And isn't the foal happy to see her mom? Belgian horses are one of the largest in the horse family. They're the largest I've ever seen. <laughs> but you know what, Saab? Not all horses are big. Martin, remember when we saw those miniature ponies? Yeah, we were horseback riding and you said to me, Hey, Martin, stop the horse. This is a miniature pony crossing. What? Are you sure? Yeah. A miniature pony crossing? <laughs> yeah, stop the horse. <laughs> OK. Whoa. Good boy. All right. Where are the miniature ponies? Here they come. <laughs> OK, now we can go. OK, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you know, Belgians, are one of the biggest, strongest, most powerful horses in the world. But she's incredibly gentle and tame. But you know, before you pet a horse, always make sure a grown-up says it's okay. I can't believe my mind. 
Fuzz is drinking milk from her mom. The foal's happy to be with her mom again. Hmm, I think the horses are getting sleepy. Could be. You know, a horse can actually sleep standing up. They sleep standing up? Wow. She just locks up her legs so she doesn't fall down, and then she goes to sleep. <laughs> Martin must be tired. <laughs> but Martin can't sleep standing up. Hey, but the foal likes to sleep lying down. Do you mind if I use your uh, hoof as a pillow? Oh, oh, thanks. We like to sleep on horse hooves. <laughs> <laughs> this can only happen in animal junk. <laughs> Huh? Up here. Oh. Look at that big eyeball. Yeah, she does have big eyes. Did you know that horses have the biggest eyes of any land mammal? A horse eye is even bigger than an elephant eye. And it's not only her eyes that are incredible. Can you believe that a horse's hoof is like one giant fingernail? So. A horse stands on two fingernails and two toenails. Well, she has only four nails. Well, I've got to one, two, three, four, five, five on each hand. And my feet, too. See? One, two, three, four. Hey! Oh, there you are. <laughs> I scared myself. <laughs> <laughs> my fingernails are for running. <laughs> hey, feel her hot breath out of those big nostrils. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. warms my head. Yeah. You know what I like, too? Her chin and her lips are so jiggly. Look at that. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Look, hey, you want to see your teeth? Wow. Look at those teeth. Oh, wow. Big teeth for a big creature. <laughs> hey, you know why her lips are all like this, too? Uh -uh. These lips can grab onto grass. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know they ate grass. Oh, yeah, a lot of grass. And a horse's lips help find and help gather that grass, and then her teeth cut it. This kind of eating is called grazing. Grazing? Yeah, grazing. You know, and sometimes a foal will make a mistake and graze on the wrong thing, like sand. But by the time he's about six months old, he'll learn how to graze on grass, too. Well, we found the foal's mom, but we still have to move this tree. Well, now that we have a little help, we can. It looks like big help to me. Yeah, it's time to get this tree out of here. Okay, girl, we'll get you geared up. Huh. Huh. I'll tie this end of the rope to the tree. And then this end over here. Huh. Chris ties one end to one end, and Martin ties one end to another end. Yeah. Okay, how's it going, Martin? Hey, hey, hey I'm a little stuck. <laughs> Guys, Chris, Martin, I, I'm, I'm a little bit, no, guys, whoa, uh, Chris, Martin, I, whoa, uh, Chris, I didn't, uh, guys, guys, Chris, I did Chris, you're dead. Whoa, Zah, you, you're a little tied thanks. up. There you go, buddy. Phew, I was a little stuck. Uh, 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 I, uh, I meant to do that. Okay, this is secure. This hooks in here. So, Fuzz, what do you think? All right, that's pretty good. All right, let's get this tree out of here so we can run. These look good here. How you doing back there, Chris? Almost there, just a few more hooks. How's it looking, Zob? Are you sure she's gonna be able to pull it? Let's find out. All right, all set. All right, you ready? All systems go. Dig in. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Oh! Yeah, you can do it! Come on! Dig in. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Look, I'm cool! You can do it, yeah! Oh, great, good! It's moving! Move! All right! Oh! Yeah, yeah, come on, pull, heave! Yeah, yeah, you're doing good! I can't believe my mind! She pulled it out all by herself! I could have done it for you, but nobody asked me. 
Hey, thanks a lot for helping us. You want some oats? All right. You did a great job. Need some food after pulling such a huge tree, don't you? How about an apple? Want an apple, too? <laughs> she ate the whole thing. <laughs> Listen to the sound that horses make when they chew. You want to try it? has room to run around. Now that the tree's gone, the foal can run. I want to be like a horse, yeah! Come, Come on, on, let's run, run like, like a, a horse. horse! I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel horses. how about you? Horses! I feel horses. Ah. Horses! I'm a fussy little foal and I love to run around. Strong Belgian, I can move a tree. Horses! Goodbye, little fuzz. Thanks for all your help. Thanks for clearing that tree out of here. Yeah, we really couldn't have done it without you. Come back soon. Incoming! Duck! <laughs> it's a vulture, not a duck! <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those wings. Woo! Wow. Hey, that message from Jackie must be around here somewhere. Oh. Ah, here it is. All right, <laughs> let's see what she's up to. Yeah. It's from Jackie. I love riding on horses, especially with Sheba. Oh, no. Sheba, don't eat that. Does that look like food to you? I don't think so. I'll take care of this. A styrofoam cup might not look like food to us, but it might for a horse. Sheba could have eaten the cup on the stick. That's why it's important to put garbage where it belongs and where animals can't get at it. A carrot tastes better anyways. Horses, I love horses. Yeah, we have to do more stuff with horses. I have an idea. Why not go riding? Great idea, Zob. To the closet? To the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their Here we go. split. Here <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on! Let's go! They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're running from the closet, and they're headed out the door. Riding horses is the coolest. It's a great way to see the wilderness. Yeah, and you don't even have to be going anywhere. You just ride for the fun of it. Riding a horse makes me feel like a baby baboon on his mom's back. Because baby baboons ride on their mom's back when they're between 6 and 12 weeks old. A baby baboon grabs onto his mom's fur and hangs on tight. It's a great way to get around. Martin, let's pick up the pace. All right, we're moving into a trot. Now I feel like a baby lemur riding on her mom's back. When a young lemur like Zabu rides on his mom's back, he really has to hang on tight because his mom leaps all over the place. And we have to hang on tight, too, because a horse can really move when he wants to about 45 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car can go. Horses are better than cars. They don't need gas. Just hey oats and you to be their buddy. And a horse can go through terrain that a car just can't get through. And this terrain's pretty bumpy. I'm bouncing around like a baby kangaroo in a mom's pouch. A baby kangaroo is called a joey. And he stays in his mom's pouch where it's warm and cozy. But when she gets going, it can get pretty bumpy in there. Woohoo! Now it's time to really ride. No one.
stopped. They're thirsty. Just like people, horses need a good drink every now and then. You guys all filled up? All right, let's head back to Animal Junction. Wonder what that leaping lemur's up to. Zabu's gonna love to hear about this. Yeah, I wonder what he's been doing. More horses? Wow. Hey guys, two striped horses came to visit. Wow. Wow, a zebra mom and her foal. Hmm. <laughs> They're a zebra family, <laughs> and zebras are part of the horse family. Look at all those stripes. Why zebras have stripes is still a mystery. Some people think it confuses their predators like lions. When a lion looks at a herd of zebras, she sees so many stripes, she doesn't know where one zebra ends and the other begins. Other people think that stripes help zebras recognize each other. How long have you guys been hanging out, Sabu? Hmm, enough for about a thousand tail wags. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, those tails just keep going and going, huh? They never stop. And tail wagging helps shoo flies away. Look what these zebras do. They stand this way so that when they're waving their tails, they shoo flies off of each other's faces. Look at her tail. It never stops moving. The mom's really good at it, but the foal is learning fast. There she goes. <laughs> I love zebra manes. You know how most horses' manes flop down over to one side? Well, a zebra mane stands straight up in the air. And it has stripes. You know, Zob, every zebra's stripes are a little bit different. Well, how come? Well, it's kind of like Martin and I. We're in the same family. Yeah, we're both Krat brothers. But we look different. I have blue eyes. And I have brown eyes. And I have yellow eyes. And like us, the zebras look a little bit different. You can tell they're both zebras, but if you look really closely, you can see a different pattern of stripes. Do you see the difference? Wow. Zebra legs are so strong and muscular. That's how zebras can run so fast. Yeah, zebras are big, powerful creatures. Big? That reminds me of my biggest friend in Zabu land. I was leaping <laughs> along, leap, leap, and I stopped to take a rest in a tree. Well, all of a sudden, I could hear Google and Nogandril talking on the ground below me. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, what am I gonna do? I jumped down to see what they were talking about. Hi, guys. Is there a problem? Well, Zabu, I want to go visit my aunt, but it's too far to walk. But he doesn't know how he's going to get there. I've got an idea. Zabumafuasaurus! Here she comes. <laughs> Whoa! Hi, Zabumafuasaurus. Can you give Nogandril a ride on your back somewhere? Sure. Hop on, Noggy. Well, how am I going to get way up there on her back? Oh. Way too high. We'll do it the way I do. Yeah. Take one big lemur leap. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, problem solved. Let's go. Oh. I can't jump up that high. I'm no lemur. There is another way. <laughs> Get on Zabumafusaurus's tail, and she can lift you up. Woo! See? It's easy. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes. Come on up. Okay. Here you go. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Thanks, Zob, you're right. That was easy. Oh, thanks, so we all climbed up on Zabumafuasaurus and went to visit Nog and Drill's aunt. <laughs> oh, hold on tight, guys. Blueberry muffins. That sounds like a fun tale, Zob. Yeah, Zabumafuasaurus is big like the Belgian horse. Great big. Well, I loved how she pulled the tree out of Animal Junction. And I loved Fuzz. <laughs> Fuzz was great. And I love those zebras. There is nothing better than horseback riding. Those horses love to run. Oh, I love horses. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names. But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Bye, Krat Brothers. <laughs> Bye, Zabu. Keep on leaping, lemur. You ready for another trip? Yeah. Let's go home with the zebras. We'll see you later. Where 
Where do you think they're headed? I don't know, somewhere in Africa, I guess. Hi, my name is Rebecca, and this is my cat, Simba. Simba's a tabby cat. Woo! Hey. <laughs>